Madam Kemi, this video is for you. My tears are no longer tears of sorrow and forget it. That's far and long gone. Every tear I shared are tears of joy and it shall remain so forever in Jesus' name. Now, I have said to myself I was never going to reply you. Well, ignore. Because I just feel you're elderly and I don't really want to have, you know, a social media fight with you. Now, you're crossing the line by talking about my daughter. You are crossing the line. If you have evidence, like you claim, you said a letter was sent to you and they traced it to my PA's number. Her number was never registered on that Pinkies Foundation. I have never registered any number on that Pinkies Foundation. If you have all this evidence that you claim that you have, please provide it. Post it. Let us see. Or oh, better still send it to me. And then let's take it up from there. We have law in this country. There are law. And those laws are there to guide you and help you. If you have proof, like you said you have, please provide it. Now, until you can provide it, kindly leave my kid's name off your mouth. Because the next time you come at my kids, madam, you will visit that prison again. You wrote stuff about me that you claim that my PA or my manager sent you a letter. Now, did you take that time to call that number? Or did you take that time to do your investigation well? You didn't. The pastor in question, I don't know whether he was the one or his member or his kids got you arrested. I was called upon. They wanted to use me as an ambassador for the police department. I got to their office and then they were asking about this case, your case. And they said I should write what happened. And I did. I don't know if what I wrote landed you more days in prison. But whatever the situation is, you came at me. I was asked a question. And I said, yes, she came at me for some reasons. I don't know. The only thing I knew is, I think you called yourself God in one of your prayers. You posted something that, that annoyed me and I blocked you. And two days later, boom, you came at me. What I do with my life has nothing to do with you. Now, as a journalist, if you choose to write about me, which is normal, please always have your facts. Always have your proof, your evidence. Because mercy, words, they don't count. When you have your proof, when you have your evidence, and then you come at me, that will be fine. But when you don't have this proof or this evidence, and you get arrested for defamation of character, that is not my fault. You can't get a sorry from me and you will never get a sorry from me. But one thing I can assure you that the next time you talk about my daughter without having proof or you talk about my son without having proof, Madam Kemi, you will go back to jail because I would be on your case with the law. And I promise you that. I am not joking. I don't joke when it comes to my kids. You can say whatever you want to say about me. I probably might not even answer you. If you, you like you said that my manager sent you a letter and said something about my daughter, you have to provide it. If you don't have those evidence to provide, madam, stop talking about my kids. Stop swearing i am doing this video out 
because if you try it again and I come after you, if the whole world come to me and say, let her go, I will not listen. I don't joke with my kids. I'm an adult. I'm 41. I'll be 42 in December. I am an adult. Right? What I do or don't do with my life is my choice, not yours. You have kids. I have never come to ask you, why, why you know, with your father, um, how many men um, did you have your kids for? I have never talked about you before. I don't know you. I have never seen you. Until you wrote about me, I had no issues with you. I blocked you before you wrote about me because... Your post, I did not like. I, I really can't remember what you posted, but you posted something about you being God or something. Madam Kemi, you said you're going to release every evidence, blah, blah, blah. Until you release them, please keep my kid's name off your mouth. If anybody has said anything to you, until you can provide evidence. I am repeating myself again. Hmm. Madam Kim or oh, Auntie Kim Kim. That's what I call you behind you. And I've said it in your face before. Auntie Kim Kim, please. Please. Don't let me come at you with the law. And this time. It's not going to be nice because you're joking with my kids. You're calling their names and it's really pissing me off. So take this. <laughs> take it. Take it. And be wise. Thank you.